Hello everyone, um, Vega here. Um, I haven't done one of these in a while, but since we're in October, um, I'm going to start sculpting uh, a mask for a client, a Halloween mask. Um, it's going to look like this. I think he's from a TV show from the 50s. Uh, it's not the best sculpture, it's not like the best design, but it's from a TV show, so I'm going to try my best to duplicate uh, duplicate that, I mean. So, and we're using re reusable clay. Prima. Prima clay is right here. <laughs> Somebody asked me in the comment if it, if, it, if it was okay to use the clay once it's sprayed and re yeah, well... I think all special effects artists always use the clay after it's sprayed. Um, if you want, you could use gloves. I, now, nowadays, a lot of artists are using um, those tight, uh, tight uh, black gloves. I think they use them for uh, tattoo artists. Uh, use them. Uh, I don't have those, so I'm using these just to lay the clay on. Here's the clay. Started. It's all used. I'm going to I'm going to start up. Uh, I got like two three three reference photos but they're not really good pictures um that the the client the, the client sent me from um uh, from on, uh, online reference from I think it's for a TV show. Uh he it's kind of like a zombie it, it look you see it? That that that's what I'm doing. I'm going to use these for the eyes. They're going to go there. But I'll place these eyes. This is from a toy that was lying around the house. Uh, I'm gonna place these eyes after the clay is done. After, and he's, we're gonna sculpt him just around here because the character doesn't have ears either. And then he has the, the teeth exposed, which that's gonna be the last. So we're just gonna cover him up to here, which the molding is the the, the molding process is gonna be is gonna be good. So. So what I'm going to do is keep on putting chunks of clay over the armature. Like I said, you could get these armatures. You could use a, a, a wig, a foam wig head. You know, those they, they sell in the art store. And I've seen they have some, some, uh, some of these um, at, uh, at Walmart or even at the Savers. If, you're, if you have a Savers in your area, um, they have the foam head. It's just this part um, that you could, uh, I think they sell it for you could display your mask or you could display your hats or your wigs. But you could scope on that. Just make sure that it's, you know, it stays stable because once you put, if, if this didn't have this base, once I start putting clay here on the head, it's going to lean to the front. Or anything that I touch, if I hit it, it's going to just fall. Lucky this is stable, then it's hollow. So I, I love these. They're, they're, they're pricey though. They're pricey. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's, 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 it gets, you know, it's, it's dried out. It's dried, so. It doesn't even really smell. It just smells like oil clay. I, I hope I'm in focus. So thank you for watching. Um, it's been crazy. I've been, you know, if you see this channel, if you're on this channel, please subscribe. Um, and comment and all that good stuff and um I love horror you know that's my thing so I, I've done a couple of uh, abandoned videos with um, Hobie Cat uh, you can check his channel out he does abandoned places like uh that is just crazy and amazing at the same time so I, I went with him to do a couple abandoned videos. So if you guys like abandoned stuff, you know, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to his channel. I also did a couple of, I visited a couple of haunted cemeteries with uh, my friend Annabelle. Uh, and those were, that, that was last year for Halloween. Then that was exciting. I love all that stuff. So I, I'm trying to keep this, even though there's vlogs here on this channel, I have two channels. But I'm, I, I'm always working on the Vega Zone channel <laughs> for some reason. Um, I would love to keep this channel kind of, you know, how to and art and horror and all that stuff. Uh, let's see. 
if you like, if you like. This is not my design, so it looks really cheesy, but it has to look exactly like the client wants it. It's not like my idea or my, you know, I could give a little input and change here and there, but the main sculpture has to look like the picture, like this picture. And then I have to do the gloves, which, you know, it's, like, it's from, a, I think, a 70s show, so it's not a really good sculpture. It doesn't have detail or nothing, so, or anything, I mean. So, right now, what we did is we covered everything up with the clay, and then we started smoothing it out. That's what I did. Started smoothing it out with my fingers, and then um, I'm going to go in with, the, uh, with this rake. I don't know if you can see it. It has little teeth. It, have little, it has little teeth right there, so it it, it smooths it, it smooths it out really nice. Look at that. So I'm gonna do this to do the whole thing. Get rid of me. Uh, I'm gonna do these, this with my. I'm gonna smooth this part with my fingers. Um, that's Madison back there. <laughs> like I said, I'm in the dining room. <laughs> it's um, it's a Saturday here in Connecticut. It's it's cloudy. It's cold. Uh, we're in October. I think today is October the. 10th or 11th I think it's cold out so and I decided to sculpt over up here instead of in my studio that way I can see the kids and I don't know I like I like sculpting better here I don't like sculpting uh, if I'm recording then I'll do it up here I, I don't like recording downstairs gotta carry the lights so I'm gonna suffer a little bit because I'm gonna take Michael outside to play on his big wheel um, well his Batmobile um, so I'm just gonna start. I was smoothing it. I was smoothing him out. Remember, this has to be all round, uh, rounded up, and then um, smooth. And then I'm gonna design some teeth. And then I think everything else will be in the casting, and then the latex, and the latex cast. Uh, it's a very simple uh, creature. I mean, look at the picture. Uh, but that's exactly like uh, my client wants him to be. And the hands are gonna be gloves covered in latex with veins uh, I'm gonna use these that I found in the in the hardware store these look pretty cool see so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover these in, in latex and then add some veins the picture that he that he showed me which uh, are I think from the TV show also I think they just had regular garden gloves and cut, put latex on them and then put yarn to make veins which that's I'm gonna put veins on him also uh, with yarn and then cover them with latex uh, well yeah I'm gonna smooth him out uh, I'm gonna make his eyes uh, his eye sockets deeper and then um, yeah I think I'll do that later but right now I'm gonna take a break and I'm gonna go outside uh, because Michael really wants to be outside right now uh, so, um, I added the, uh, I added all the teeth in there. I mean, I'm just going by the design of the, of the, of the picture. And this is the way the, the customer wants it. I think he's, uh, gonna wear it for Halloween. So, uh, I'm trying to put all the teeth. I, I was gonna take all the teeth out, but I'm probably gonna mold it with the teeth. And let's see, let's hope everything comes out good. Um, like I was saying before, you could take this outside since it's oil clay. You could smooth it with 99% alcohol in a brush, and or lighter fluid. I usually use 99% alcohol or 97%, which is a pain in the ass to smooth it with that. But I'm not gonna smooth this one because, um, I'm, like I said, I'm gonna put latex over it. I'm gonna cover the dividing wall. Uh, marks uh you know the gap uh we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna right now uh we're gonna seal it with clear plastic spray you know you find that at walmart just go to the paint aisle uh, krylon is the best one i don't know if i have krylon now uh because i have so many <laughs> i've been working on so many things um and uh yeah we're gonna seal it in Krylon, take pictures. Well, we take pictures or video, you know, after. I like taking pictures after. The, I, I really don't like recording, but for the sake of for, uh, you know, YouTube and adding um, how-to videos and show you guys um, how I do it. Sometimes the way I do it is not the best way. 
it's easier for me because um, growing up in Puerto Rico and not having, you know, no internet, uh, the internet wasn't around, wasn't invented. Um, all I had was Fangoria magazines and um, I ordered a how to uh, uh, make a latex mask. You know, I uh, told my mom to get a money order. I saw, I think I saw it on Fangoria, the ad, and then. Um, Sent it out, waited a couple of days, and waited, and waited, and waited, and then uh, I finally got the VHS copy, which I still have. I'll, I'll probably show it, I'll put a picture in, or around here somewhere. And that's how I, I kind of knew, for some reason I kind of knew how to make a mask. It's just little bits and pieces that, you know, like the Krylon spray, the, uh, the, 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 the wall, and, you know, I knew it was plaster, I knew you sculpted it out of clay, I knew, but there was, you know, there's always little bits and pieces of information that you need to know. And then you can add your own, uh, you can add your own ideas or, you know, whatever makes sense to you, common sense, you know. Um, if you don't have the passion for this, it takes a lot of work, uh, you know, it's stressful right now, this, this one is not my design, you know, it, it, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting paid to make this. Um, and the gloves. Uh, the gloves are simple. Um, I think this is ba I think he called it the master. I'm not sure from what TV show it is, but he's called the master. So, um, on the latex, we're going to uh, punch the holes right there, just like in the pictures. Right now, it has the teeth. It has two molars there. And like I said, I ordered this in, in Amazon Prime. It just took a day to ship. And these were like $11 for all these. I mean, they're like hard resin. They're made out of, they, you got the molars, the front tooth, the back, you know, just, I'm not a dentist, so I'm sorry. But look, look at that. And they came in a nice package. They came in, it came, look at that. Uh, battery died on me. I'm telling you, I'm not good at recording. If, if I, if I was good at recording everything that I do, uh, art related and how to, I'll have so many views and subscribers and all that. But once I'm doing this, I forget about the camera. Right now I have this light next to me. I didn't b b bring the other uh, photography light. I have a, a soft box on me right now. So uh, we're using um, Rust-Oleum Clear. This is what we're gonna seal it with. You know, I'm gonna take it outside and I'm gonna seal it. I don't know if I'm gonna record that, but just a thin coat. Just wait for it to dry. Do it outside. Unless you have a garage. Don't do it in the basement. I learned that the hard way. Um, take it outside to the porch, spray it, leave it out there for a little bit. Over here in Connecticut, it's getting cold. Uh, so I just do it. <laughs> In the cold, sometimes I'm doing it in the snow, which is probably a big mistake, but it works. It Here it is, it's outside. See, you can't see the, you can see all the marks, tool marks and stuff. Like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna go over that with latex after it's cast. So, we're gonna spray it right now. Let's see if I could just do this with one hand. And Oh, my goodness. Oof. Spray it outside, folks. So this is so I got the camera on one hand and then playing cards. So you take the cards, cut them right through, down the middle, and then inside the the cup, we're gonna just place place the cards all the way in, all the way around, straight line all the way down. Remember, make take a blade and make a cup straight, right in the middle. For some sculpture, from some from for some other design, it will be right straight down the middle, right here, or you can make a couple of pieces you can make depending on the mold this is going to be a, two, a two part mold so it's going to be the back and the front so dig deep in there make a straight line as straight as you can all across all the way down 
and inside inside that line we are gonna put the playing cards all the way around remember we're, we're making a wall with cards if they're brand new the better because they're hard these are semi brand new so since I practice magic I have a lot of cards around um, but yeah see that you see how thick it's gonna be well Okay, see the line right there? So what I'm gonna do is start playing case whoop, I almost fell there. Start putting cards. The best ones, the best cards you can find. Try to overlap the cards. Overlap the cards like this. Like if you're fanning the cards. So just try to overlap so that way it has strength in there. Remember, I'm not I'm not a teacher, so and I hate messing with the camera. I hate messing with the camera and sculpting or mold making in this matter. Oof, I'm gonna have to do it. Okay, and then um, make sure it's nice and thick, especially with plaster of Paris. It needs to be nice and thick. Um, but you're gonna brush. You're gonna brush it on first. I'm going to do the, fr the front part because right now the most important part for me right now is the front part. So we're just going to we're just going to mix the plaster of Paris. Uh, I usually just measure it by uh, by eye since I already uh, uh, done it so many times. But you know, for for every cup, add two cups or three cups of plaster. Um, just make sure it's nice and thick, like. Uh, like a milkshake kind of not you know exaggerated and then we're gonna brush all inside the detail and it's gonna start getting harder and harder and harder that gonna get it's gonna it's gonna be up to a point that you're not gonna be able to use this no more and then you're gonna use your hands okay but make sure you brush brush around the cards all around the cards you know give it a nice thin coat all around the cards all around the cards and then um just keep on you know i only have one light here i don't want to keep bringing lights down here uh i have my turner there i'm gonna mix the plaster outside and please wear a mask you know wear a mask um you don't want to breathe none of this plasters or the, the sprays or anything you know cancer is running around like crazy and so just be safe i mean like i said go to the stan winston school of uh, character arts right uh there's so much so many videos even on safety um uh shannon he's a special special effects artist uh, worked on the evil dead and worked on uh the mist uh he has little little uh videos that teaches you uh, the, uh, about safety, about having a heavy table to make a mold. You need to make, don't, <laughs> don't be making molds on a flimsy table. Trust me, don't be making molds on a flimsy table. You need a hard uh, wooden table, you know? Because once you start adding, right now it's pretty heavy with the clay. Once you start adding the plaster, you know, you don't want your table to, don't be using those Walmart uh, folding tables because that's going to just right down the middle. So get a heavy table. A lot of these brushes at Walmart, I brought, I brought just now, I brought 10, 10 of these brushes. Because remember, they're not reusable. You're going to use them for the plaster and you're going to use them for the latex and for Vaseline uh, once the front part of the mold is done. 
Um, yeah, remember we're gonna brush the plaster in. And then once it starts getting thicker, we're gonna just keep adding with your hands it. Okay, I'm working on my dining room. <laughs> All special effects artists, I know, I know this for a fact. They work. Sorry, you can't see me over there. Wear a dust mask. Like that. Pinch it right here in your nose. Don't breathe none of this crap. So, I'm just waiting for the plaster to set on the bucket just for a little bit until it's nice and thick. I don't know if you, the camera can see that over there. But, I decided to make this down up here because outside is cold, it's getting dark. Um, and working in the basement with plaster and uh, well, mixing the plaster, taking the bucket downstairs, it's just, cause I like mixing, mixing the plaster outside. Um, so, I'm not gonna talk much because you gotta work fast. Remember, you gotta work fast. Make sure you start with, um, you start with uh, a splash coat. I just noticed one of the cards. You get uh, Vaseline all this, Vaseline the armature. Um, and you'll be good. Okay, the plaster is nice and thick, so I'm not gonna talk much because um, I'm gonna start adding the plaster. I had to stop really there, the camera turned off. I took one of my gloves off. Huh. It's really messy, but look, it's nice and thick. Um, if your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your wife or your partner understands and support you, <laughs> you're good. But trust me, not anybody, not any wife or husband or boyfriend will allow you to make such a big mess in the dining room, especially before the holidays, you know. So I'm just smoothing everything out. Because right now, the most important thing is the front. The back, you know, I can always fabricate it and blend it with latex and stuff. You gotta be a problem solver also. And if something doesn't work out, you gotta figure it out. You gotta figure it out. You can't quit. You can't quit. No matter how many molds I've made or how many sculptures I've made, I always, I, you know, I, I mess up, you know. I mess up a lot. Like right now, hey. We don't know if this thing is gonna open or be nice and the way we want it inside, but hey, you know? So that was the front part. Look at that. That thing is hard. Well, not hard, hard. I'm just saying it's. Look at that. <laughs> I just don't want it to tip over because all the, all the fluff is on this side. After, after, this is... Ugh. Now it's heavy as hell. Look at that, right there. Ugh. Like I said, if you don't have a table, like that will hold this weight, boop, you're in for a surprise. Look at that. It's not perfect, but it will work. Trust me, mold making is, I, I hate, I hate mold making. But it comes with everything else, you know? So we're gonna try to take these cards out. We'll use clay and build a wall right here just because of these two things. But I have the clay there already, so might as well. Remember, you got a Vaseline 
Vaseline, all of this. All this wall over here, Vaseline it. Petroleum <laughs> gel. Just Vaseline it. Put a whole bunch of it. A whole bunch. And you can also make, uh, get clay and put some key points so when you put the screwdriver in, you'll know five points right here. Here we go. I usually use a brush for this, but I'm not right now. And do it on the outside too, like right here. Do it, put Vaseline all over this. So when the plaster runs, it won't be so difficult to clean up. All over this right here. All over your armature too. Hopefully it won't take that much plaster for this part, for the back part. I'm using another glove. More cards. Uh, scissors, scissors, scissors. Uh, I think I left the scissors. Oh, here they are. I thought I left the scissors outside. The kids are upstairs playing. Uh. I mean, this part is not necessary, but it will it will help. Whatever you have, just pour it in, and then wait wait 20 minutes or you know the, the more you wait, the more thicker the mask is gonna be. So um, now after after all that, uh, we're gonna pour all that back in here. For both sides, we're gonna pour it in here and just wait. Uh, I'm just gonna use ma masking tape for the rest. I'm gonna seal this big gap with um, with clay. Maybe not. I'm just gonna keep brushing latex in there and see what happens. So that's the mold right there. And we're going to keep on putting latex, but um, just to seal the, the seams, just go over that the seam. Just brush it all along the seam. The thicker the better. I took the mold and placed it on a bucket, just in case it leaks latex. It'll leak in there. And I put more tape around it. That's the way it looks inside. So we're gonna brush that seam. We're gonna dip your your monster makers latex and see how go along the seam, all the seam, all over everywhere. Seal that seam up. But remember, it's not gonna have the detail is gonna be after I pull the latex out. I'm gonna go over it with more latex, so I'm not worried about the the flashing or nothing. Uh,
there it is. I'm gonna start taking it out, but before you need to put a lot of um baby powder. Put a lot of baby powder in there and brush it all. You don't want it you don't want it um you don't want the mask to stick to itself. Sorry if you can't hear me, I have I have a, a dust mask on, so so put a lot of that in there and brush it all up with a brush. Don't breathe this Johnson & Johnson baby crap. Don't even use it for your babies. This thing is toxic. We don't have to open the mold for this. We can just take it out of there. <sighs> Keep on pulling it. Just keep on doing, you know, easy, 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 easy. Okay, we're back in the basement. What I did was I punched the, the eyes, let's see, with the Dremel tool. Okay. Whew, no, that's better. Uh, what I did is I punched out the eyes right there. I they didn't punch them out, but with the Dremel tool, I drilled the little two eyes out and with scissors I cut the nostrils out and then I made a, a round I couldn't find my hole punch my hole puncher so I drilled that out and made a slit so it could fit uh, so it could fit so let me put it on so you guys can see let me put let me Okay, so we're going to cover all of this up. Woo! There you go. If it fits me, it'll fit the actor. Because I have a big head. So, now I'm just going to put the mask on a, another armature. This one right here. Woo! I'm going to put the mask on that. And start uh, working with with latex and stuff. Start working with latex. <laughs> so here's the mask. We're gonna cover all that seam up with detail, with um, saran wrap and latex, and give it skin and uh, yarn. So there you go. There's the mask. So yeah. Remember, that's to fit. I mean, if you, you don't have to do that, that cut in the back. I mean, all masks have it just because different sizes of heads and stuff. And I mean, this could have slipped really tight if I didn't make that. But, um, yeah. But I think the, the character has a hoodie, has a hoodie over it. So they won't, they won't really notice that. So let's cover these seams up with saran wrap and latex right yeah make sure you cover the latex nice and tight and shake it oh my god Oop. okay so. <sighs> using sponges and latex
on this part. Remember, you could use cotton. It gives it that skinny, like, nasty, fleshy thing. And then, um, you can also use saran wrap. Why well, I, I use both, so. And then cover it with latex, let it dry, do it again. You know, the last thing is going to be painting. And we're going to uh, design uh, better teeth on this. And, um, and then I'll bring the hands down. The hands are almost done. Like I said, uh, look at the pictures. These are the pictures that they send me. So I'm going by that. So this is not my design. I did tweak it a little bit, just a little tiny bit. But, um, you know, if, uh, if, if, if uh, a client send you pictures of a, a creature that was on a TV show, then you have to make it like, you know, like the creature on the TV show, as cheesy as it is. Remember, back in the day, not Universal. Universal creatures are amazing. But there was, you know, some B-movies and, and some TV shows that the, the, the creatures weren't perfect, but they're, if you look at them now, they're like, whoa, you know, they have a, a cult, you know, following, you know. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll come back and, um, well, <clears throat> so, here it is. I added the, the cotton and the plastic. I sealed everything. It's actually a nice heavy-duty mask. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. I'm working on the hands right now. Oh, it's nice and thick. I mean, look at that. Doesn't even lose its shape. Look. Not like those. <laughs> Plast, uh, those really thin latex masks they sell in the department stores is really nice. Um, so, see, we could, uh, now we're going to paint it. I don't know if I should put it out in this video, but what I did was I mixed, like I, t I don't know if you guys heard me, but uh, mixed acrylic uh, paint with, um, I mixed acrylic paint with latex. Uh, you know the base color of this is flesh and it's gonna have black and stuff like that kind of like what I did here I mixed latex and paint like all this this is a I think this is actually a little better than the one than than the one they used on the on the pictures I think these have the way better I think it, it, even the hands look way better but the hands already have veins I'm just adding latex. I don't know if you guys can see it. It already has veins and stuff, just like the forehead. But I'm gonna go over that. I'm gonna go over that after. Um, put the mask back on the armature. But it's a nice heavy duty mask. I mean, this is low budget. You know, um, we molded it, we, we sculpted it with uh, re re reusable clay. I'm sorry. Um, we, re we sculpted it with reusable clay, oil clay, um, we molded, um, we, mold, we, we did the mold out of plaster of uh, Paris, and we used uh, some gardening gloves and covered them with latex, and then we used uh, cotton and saran wrap, and um, yeah, the only, the, the only expensive thing here was the, the latex. Um, the Monster Makers, you guys get, just go to Monster Makers and, uh, you know, you could have made this out of paper mache, but that, that will be another video. But it'll be, you know, not flexible, be, you know, like a helmet kind of. So, you know, this is the most important thing with, with uh, latex, you could build, you can make a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, you could also keep on brushing it on the sculpture, keep on brushing it, brushing it, maybe make it really thick, and just maybe pull, pull, uh, pull it out and have a mask that way. Um, yeah. So right now I'm gonna work on the hands. 
And I think um, when, we're, when, when we get back, um, everything will be finished. So like I said, for right now I'm just going to uh, mix more of this paint with latex and brush it. Uh, because it needs to be flexible. You don't want the paint to be cracking on this. Uh, just mix it, you know, as, as you want, you know. I, I always recommend um, the way I do it. I, I put a lot of latex in the paint so it can stretch. Uh, we'll come back once all this is painted. And that was that. So, here are the gloves. Oh, it's a beautiful morning here. Look at the trees, the birds and the squirrels, they're all out. There's the master, like they call it. I'm just going to spray it, give it that wet look with some clear, just a thin coat. Don't go crazy with this. Just a thin coat over it, over the gloves. Really good. And then he's ready to ship. I'll put it on before I'll ship it so you guys can see. Here are the gloves. This is um yarn. Put yarn there and yarn here for the veins. Look at the veins. Remember this is not my design. This is the gloves I put veins black. The yarn the yarn was red, I painted it black. So here you go. Let me Especially on the eyes. Okay, so uh, I have Stephanie behind the camera. Um, I have a, a studio light on. Sorry. Uh, so this is the mask. This is done. Uh, I'm going to take it out of the. I already added the the, the shiny coat, the, the clear coat. So um, here are the gloves. I was just doing a photo shoot with it. So. I'm gonna take it out of the armature because uh, it's ready to it's ready to ship. So look, it's still flexible. Um, I got Madison and Michael back there. There you go. See, I mean, this is going to be covered up, and I think it has a hoodie, but I can't put my hoodie on. <laughs> I can't put my hoodie on. Right, let me Maybe see. Can help let me see if I can put this on. There we go. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. Okay. Yeah. There you go. And the sleeves, the sleeves will cover this part, I guess. So it's ready to ship, so. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. This is it. A uh, basic, uh, quick latex mask with um, plaster of Paris. So now somebody's going to take pictures. So if you like this video, please subscribe and uh, leave your comment. Uh, I'll be posting more videos on this. Hopefully you guys can hear me. So um, yeah, please subscribe, comment, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next one.